wireless earphones. It's a trend that Apple started, of course, with the AirPods. These are earphones with no wires on them. They're just two separate pieces, one for the left ear, one for the right ear. In today's vlog, we're going to check out three options, compare them, all are different price points, and they're really wide. Because the Xiaomi Air Dot sells for like 1,500, the Apple AirPod sells for a little over 10,000 pesos, while the Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPod sells for a whopping 65,000 pesos. So join me in this head-to-head-to-head through wireless earphones pack. So here we have our three affordable true wireless earphones. We have the Xiaomi Air Dots, super affordable at 1,500 pesos. We'll talk about this one more in a bit. Then of course, we have the Apple AirPods. You have two generations of this one. The second one having a little bit better sound quality and a wireless charging case. And of course, we have the most luxurious of the lot. This is the Louis Vuitton. Horizon AirPods or earphones, ridiculously expensive guys, sells for over 65 what? thousand pesos. And before we get started with the head to head to head, can I just share that my Funko wall is coming along really nicely. Take a look at those Dragon Ball Pops. Some of them are some of the rarest Dragon Ball Pops that you can buy today. I'm only missing like one super rare one, which is the Planet Arlia Vegeta which sells for, are you guys ready for this? It sells for 150,000 pesos or $3,000. Now, apart from the Funko Pops over there, I also put the Adidas sneakers and a few Dragon Ball figures over there at the top of the shelf, just above my Air Force One wall. Off-Whites, Travis Scott, Supreme Comme des Garçons, we have like TC, Ricardo TC, the Carhartts, and a bunch of other Air Force Ones over here. Now, before we get started with the vlog, let me just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. You guys know it. Of course, I'm talking about Rose Gold and Black. If you guys want premium men's accessories, such as beaded bracelets, leather bracelets, uh, amazing chains with nice like pendants on them, such as one winged angel stuff, and even like grenades, you have to check them out. Now, the great news is that they're having a Christmas in July sale. You can get up to 35% off if you guys use the link down below in the description box. I also put like a special code there, which you can get an additional 15% off. So what are you waiting for? Check them out, rose, gold, and black. What I'll do for this vlog is I will summarize every single true wireless earphones that I have in my hand, and then we will go talk about which one I would recommend for you all. So the first is the cheapest of the bunch. This is the Xiaomi Redmi Air Dots. And what you guys need to know about this is that it is cheap, the sound quality is above average, but the controls and the overall build quality is piss poor. So, <laughs> so there is a trade-off. So Xiaomi put most of the investments in the sound quality that you would actually get, as well as the technical interiors of the earphones. But when it comes to controlling it, the user interface, it's not the easiest one to use. It's actually hard to pair the first time around. And there are builds with the quality of the earphones themselves, the actual build. So if you kind of press it, you know, on the outer face, you might, I, I personally feel that I might break it. So, <laughs> and I've read reviews of the earphones breaking down on some people. So I guess the most important thing is that if you will buy the Xiaomi Redmi Air Dots, number one, you have to take care of it. It doesn't mean that it's cheap, that it's something that will last you time, you know, a good amount of time. So if you take care of it, I think it will last, but that's just something that you have to keep in mind. Oh, and one more thing, the microphone on this, not so good. So that I think is another main issue that I have with the Xiaomi Redmi Air Dots. I did like a more comprehensive review of this bad boy. The link to that can be found in the description box if you guys want to know more. Next, we have the iconic, the classic, the everybody wants to have one Apple AirPods. Oh, by the way, I, <laughs> I just read the letter going around on Facebook from one of the schools, exclusive schools here in the Philippines, banning wireless headphones and earphones because of the amount of theft happening uh, with, you know, Apple AirPods. So that's just, ah, 
that's just crazy. But anyway, so we have here the Apple AirPods. So what's so nice about this one? It just works, especially if you are using an iPhone and the iOS ecosystem. It pairs beautifully with your device. It works well. It delivers on the battery life. I mean, and it's just a beautifully made product. And on top of that, this one has the best microphone in all of the devices that I have presenting to you today. So it's pretty much the whole package. However, however, there are two issues. Number one, the sound quality is not the best compared to the, especially when I'll compare it to other earphones in a few. So the sound quality, not the very best that money can buy, especially since you're paying a massive premium at a little over nine to 10,000 pesos for this. Num and number two, I have issues with the fit. So this one, I actually don't use. Why? Because it falls off my ear. I think I have big ears. So, <laughs> so, that, so that's the issue with this one. So if I'm walking, if I'm active, if I'm running, if I'm working out, the tendency is one of the AirPods would actually fall out of my ear, despite me cramming it and jamming it inside already of my inner ear. So that is perhaps my biggest issue with the Apple AirPods. I mean, it's great for making calls. It's great for listening when you're sitting down. But from my personal experience, unless you get like the perfect fit with this one, you will have issues with it. Lastly, we come to the Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods, the most luxurious one of the lot <laughs> and the craziest one. Like what I mentioned earlier, this sells for a whopping 65,000 pesos if you plan to buy it here in the Philippines or if you buy it abroad. So what's the great thing about the Louis Vuitton AirPods? Now, I will set aside the branding and the luxury bit for a bit, uh, for a while. I guess the main draw for this one are two things. Number one, the sound quality is pretty amazing. It's this type of sound quality that you would get from true wireless earphones that sell anywhere from 20 to 30,000 pesos. So that says a lot. The bass is good, the mids are clear and warm, the highs are crisp. It's really an amazing piece of technology that you put in your ear to listen to beautiful me music. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one, of course, is really the build of the device. You have a nice metallic case with the LV branding. It comes with a blue leather case from Louis Vuitton that's made from Italy. So, it, I mean, it's just presented beautifully well. And of course, you have the LV logos here at the top. However, I do have some issues with this one as well. The microphone is crap, as in it is utter crap. You have to shout, if especially if you are walking in loud places, which is kind of a letdown. And number two, there's so many types of technologies that you can get already with wireless earphones or with earphones in general. And it's just such a letdown that you're paying for like 60,000 pesos for a piece of tech that doesn't incorporate those technologies that you would want to see. So looking at the three true wireless earphones, what is my recommendation? Well, if you don't have money and if you don't have budget, I guess it's pretty straightforward. You go with the Xiaomi Air Dots and you guard it with your life. <laughs> Because if you don't take care of this, this will break and you will end up wasting your money. So again, guys, if you are on a budget and you just want simple earphones that work well, that deliver great music, microphone not so nice, and if you can get around the poor, piss poor UI, this actually delivers on what you would want. But again, please take do take care of it. Uh, I will put a link down below on where you guys can buy this on poundit.com. If you are an Apple user and it fits in your ear, I guess that's the most important thing, it should fit in your ear, then you go for the Apple AirPods. However, they are a bit expensive like what I mentioned earlier, considering what you are getting in terms of sound quality and technology. The Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods is just too ridiculous and luxurious to recommend. It's really for people who are either content creators like me who want to milk it for content like this or for people who are just massive fans of Louis Vuitton. Now what I really recommend though, and this is just being honest to goodness with you guys, is that you just wait. Why? Because there's a lot of good true wireless earphones coming our way in the next few months. All of them were actually announced already in the last few weeks and we're expecting to see them here in the Philippines. So don't pull the trigger yet on the Air Dots if you have a little bit more budget. Don't pull the trigger yet if the AirPods doesn't feed, fit your ear and you're not an Apple user. And definitely don't pull the trigger on the Louis Vuitton Horizon AirPods unless you're a baller and you're, you know, you're, you have super a lot of cash to burn. 
because there are great alternatives. Alternatives such as the Under Armour True Wireless Flash. This is not a plug. This is not like a sponsored video. I just want to share with you guys the type of technologies that you guys can get with the latest batch of True Wireless earphones. The great thing about this particular like headphones is that it actually delivers amazing sound quality. It's priced competitively, almost the same price as the Apple AirPods. And it gives you more tech that you can play around with, such as ambient sound. You press once, and then you can actually hear everything around you. So if you are running, and if you are you want to talk to somebody, and you don't want to take the earphones off, all you have to do, tap it once, and you can listen to one another. That's amazing, right? And apart from that, the fit is also very versatile. Different silicone tips, different wings that allow for you to lock it in your ear. And it's, it's just an all-around good wireless, true wireless earphones that you guys can rock. And this is the one from Under Armour. And like what I mentioned, we will be seeing more in the next few days. So again, patience is key. The technology is still kind of young. So what would be good is to wait it out a little bit and buy the one that provides you the best value for money. And that, ladies and gentlemen, actually wraps up our vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We have a bunch of giveaways and I am announcing a birthday giveaway. My birthday is on July 21. So I will be announcing a massive birthday giveaway very soon. I'm not sure though if I will upload this video after the announcement or before the announcement or during the announcement. My main point is watch out for the announcement. If I already announced it, uh, check it out. There should be like a giveaway there. If I haven't announced it yet, then be excited because something's coming your way. So I hope you guys subscribe. I hope you hit the I hope you hit the notification bell and I hope that you follow me on Instagram as well. That's it for now guys. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.